what do we have here? Another grail. Goodness gracious. Is it like grail week or something? Um, just had the um, uh, Koenig Arias on the other day. Now I have acquired this Grimsmo Norseman through begging for a loaner. And it's crazy, man. I'm going to take my ring off before I even mess with this thing. It's that, uh, that nice. Is it, you know, the most attractive blade? No, it's actually not. It's kind of looks like a bulldozer, kind of. But I think it's like, you know, the kind of ugly knife that you have to love just because it's built so freaking well. Just so well made. Look at that cool texturing. It's funny. It's precise. This texturing is precise, yet it's somehow kind of natural looking. It's weird. Um, I love how they do the uh, step pattern on the blade. Let's see if we can get that to show. Yeah, can you see that little, those lines of milling on the blade? I don't know if they're like one thousandth of an inch each or something like that, but it's so cool. It's even on that little blunt nosy end too. The Grimsmo company is basically, well, it's uh, John Grimsmo and his brother. What's his name? Oh, kind of a Norseman name, Eric. Um, and they have, you know, they have employees now, but when they started out, uh, it was just. Well, I think when he started, I think it was just John. Um, I haven't watched too many of the videos. I've watched a few, but they had uh, they started out on YouTube. And he had uh, Knife Making Tuesday, I think. And <clears throat> the first one I saw, they were making um, they were making uh, fixed blades and trying to do it, you know, very precisely on CNC milling. And so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then later, I think it was later, started doing the uh, Norseman. Um, oh, I can put a, uh, I'm going to find a uh, little video. I'm going to steal some from one of his videos and put a little snippet right here, okay? First blade done, a few minor tweaks to make after this, but um, it's looking really good so far. The tapered area for the lock tang right there, or the radius area right here turned out really, really sweet. But I'm going to have to cut it here for this evening and I'll film more in the morning because I'm running out of batteries, which is why I didn't film the rest of this, and uh, I'm freezing my butt off out here. So, see you in the morning. So that was nine years back. Um, then, you know, they started putting these things out in greater numbers and they became pretty popular and for good reason because the, the quality of these things is just ridiculous. Look at how that, that blade matches up with the, uh, the handle frame. Just so perfectly. Another reason their YouTube show was so popular, not just, you know, that they made cool stuff, is that it was really entertaining. It was cool to watch and listen to. Getting there. We're just uh, going to start another one right now. It vibrated a little bit right here due to the way I was clamping it. Basically, I was just clamping it right here, which left a lot of length sticking out for it to vibrate. So I've designed a new clamp that'll go from It'll basically clamp it here and here. Keep that nice and flat. So that's later. Anyway. Oh yeah! Last time I used mist coolant. Uh, this time I want to use flood coolant because the end mills were having a little bit of a tough time, that rougher, getting through because if you heat up stainless too much, it work hardens and it can destroy the end mill. So 
you're kind of supposed to use flood coolant for stainless, so I'm going to turn it on, and uh, for this batch, we'll do stainless, or we'll do flood. The detent on these is very precise, very, like, the second it breaks, it just lets go, and the blade pops out. And it really pops, too. Even though it's kind of a big, heavy blade, it snaps out pretty quick. But really, the most amazing thing about the Norseman is the close. It's just weirdly magical the way they close. It's almost like they're being pulled in by a magnet or something. It's almost like they'll close even if the blade is kind of like going uphill a little bit. It's weird. It's a contoured uh, frame, even though it's just a tiny bit of a contour. There's just the slightest bit of a, a hump here. And you can feel it. Um, it's a thin, very thin handle uh, and pretty tall. But it feels fine. It doesn't feel bad, even though it's kind of thin and kind of tall. Ergos are actually pretty good. It has a very unusual feel to it. Let me see how to describe it. It's very smooth, rounded on the edges, grippy, very grippy. It's not just this texture that you see, the little um, cross hatching, but it's also the um, egg shellish finish on the titanium itself. So it's not super slick. Um, even on these uh, little squares. <clears throat> Pocket clip is kind of a stonewashed finish. I wish it had uh, a thumb stud on both sides. They may come with that, but this one only has the one. But it's just amazing thumb opening. It's really, really nice. You can open it and slow roll it too, but it's not easy. It just wants to jump out of there and, and run forward and get open. <laughs> I love how the uh, lock bar follows the curve of the uh, of the top of the handle. It's really cool. Even the screws are pretty cool. Look at those things. <laughs> they have like this ovoid, ovalish. Uh, pivot top so that it doesn't spin. Very cool. Well, you can see the uh, the milling lines on the blade real good at this angle. Uh, let's see. Get them up there a little closer. Such a cool knife. Really amazing. I don't actually know what these things go for. I don't have the slightest idea. I didn't ask. I haven't checked online. Uh, Maybe different uh, prices for different models probably is. I don't know if they have, you know, full mocha tie uh, sides, you know, skit or, uh, frames for them or anything. I don't know. I'm sure if they do, they get up into the thousands. It's, it's just really an amazing feeling knife. You know, it may not be your cup of tea looks-wise. It's not really my cup of tea looks-wise. I don't love the, you know, I wish it was a different shape. I would love it more. But, you know, I still couldn't afford one. But then I would love the look of it as much as I love the feel of it. Um, let's listen to it. It can bounce if you let it hit too hard on the uh, close. The opening sounds pretty subdued. It's kind of a, a clack. But the close is maybe the coolest sounding part of it. Kind of a satisfying clack, tonk, something like that. 
It's a very uh, slicey blade because it's not super thick. Um, and it has that pretty tall... Is it a flat grind? I don't think it is a flat grind. I think it's a hollow grind uh, milled in with these milling lines. Um, not ground the way you would normally do a hollow grind is with a, a large wheel on your belt grinder. But this, I think these are milled uh, and milled into a hollow grind. The way it reflects light makes me think it's a hollow grind. It's not a, a very large, uh, what would you say? It's not a very large arc on the hollow grind, but I think it's a hollow grind. Pretty amazing knife. Pretty happy to uh, be able to check it out. I would definitely have one, even though it's not exactly my cup of tea with the blade shape. But uh, just for how awesome it is, I would definitely have one. Lock access is maybe one of the better ones I've ever messed with. It just, your thumb goes right there. It's super smooth, but also a little grippy. Super easy to open. Really nice. Thumb stud, even though it's only this, the one side thumb stud, is very grippy. Hard to slip off. Pocket clip. Couldn't be much better, really. Does exactly what it's supposed to do. They could do the jimping a little better. They could do one more jimp there and not quite round it as much. I wonder if maybe uh, they, they had it sharper before, but it, you know, was a little bit rough on the finger or something, and they went a little too far in rounding it off and smoothing it out. You know, I do this to knives all the time. I smooth out their uh, flipper tabs because they're a little bit too pointy on the finger, you know, but this one's a tad slippery. And since the... Uh, uh, detent release is so precise and so uh, snappy, so crisp, you would say. Um, you can slip off of it. If you were, had some sweaty hands, you definitely could. But, you know, that's one complaint about a knife that really exceeds expectations in every other way. Amazing piece. Um... If you ever get a chance, grab one. I mean, I say it like it's, you know, some knife you can just grab one. I don't think it's that easy to just grab one. But, again, if you ever get a chance, get a Norseman. They're pretty awesome. Have a nice day.